my name. DeAndre. 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 The one and only. I when they see me, they know that every day when I'm breathing, it's for us to go farther. You know, every time I speak, I want the truth to come out. Sometimes you just have to realize that some people just put on this urge just to be losers, man. Some people were just put on this urge just to be straight losers. And it is what it is, man. They just have to accept it. And they just have to understand that that's just what it is. And they have to just come to terms with that. If you're going to be a loser, leave us all the hell out of it. I have to really kind of talk about this because it's been floating around the internet for a couple of days. Ever since really this past weekend, really. And uh, I, I, I would be doing a disservice to you guys and this channel if I didn't speak on this. This really is hella embarrassing. And we got to talk about it. So what am I talking about, man? I'm, I, the suspense is killing you, I know. So we're going to be talking about this whole situation with rapper Offset and Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenneth Petty. And the reason why I'm even going to talk about it is because of the fact that you know, really, I wanted to talk about Offset and Kai and their legendary stream that they had this, you know, over the over the weekend. I believe Kai had like a 24 hour stream. You know, it was supposed to be with Offset, right? So Offset and Kai, right? Kai said that Offset, they they have a stream and, and it looked like it was fun. There was clips circulating all around social media, you know, just going just going crazy, going viral, right? Even people, I was seeing people on my timeline that don't even really watch streams like that. Not that I'm an avid stream watcher. I mean, I do, you know, pop in from time to time, but watch whole entire three, four, five hour streams. That's just not me. I don't do that. But, you know, I do pop in on people, different people's streams from time to time. But even people on my timeline that I wasn't, that I know don't really watch streams like that, even they were reposting stuff from that stream and, you know, commenting on it and just having a really good opinion about it, you know, because it, it looked fun, right? Like you saw clips of Offset dancing and smiling, just cheesing from ear to ear. He was smiling more during that stream and just had it really seemed like he was genuinely having a good time like he genuinely was having a great time like it didn't seem like it was this forced thing it didn't seem like you know oh, i'm just doing it just because i'm getting paid or you know i'm doing it because this is something that you know my management set up or you know whatever like he actually like <laughs> there was a clip floating around of him you know where he's coming in to kai's room and kai you know he's in atlanta right like kai the amp house i believe is in atlanta right and i believe that's where he's also from or that's where offset and quavo and you know take off rest in peace to him i think they're they're all from atlanta right so you know it was nothing for him to go there and just do what he needed to do so my plan was to really talk about that whole thing right because i saw so many clips and I just wanted to kind of dive in and talk about it. But then I saw this fucking stupid ass video with Nicki Minaj's husband, along with, you know, his two knucklehead goofballs. Just, just take a look at it, man. It's so fucking embarrassing. It's been nice, uh, say. I'm like a zai, nigga. Yeah. 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 Ah, offset, where you at? So fucking embarrassing. Kenneth Petty, okay? This dude is what, 45, 55 years old out here, posted up with him. And in his fucking two goofball ass Beavis and Butthead ass dudes that he's posted up outside some random corner in New York City with. Mind you, I told you earlier that Offset is, was in Atlanta this whole time. OK, so they're not even in the same city. Fuck that. They're not even in the same state. 
as Offset is, okay? This dude is posted up talking about we outside. Sir, if you don't sit your ass down. And the reason why I'm even bringing this up is because of the fact that Nicki Minaj has to unfortunately be tied to this guy because she married him, okay? I believe that that is Nicki Minaj's husband, okay? That was sitting there. Not, not the one talking, but the one in the red cap talking about, you know, we outside and this, that, and the third. Yeah, man, that's embarrassing. That's something I would expect, like, teenagers to do. Like, he is a grown-ass man. Like, this dude is old enough, honestly, to be my dad. He, he's just embarrassing. Mind you, he has an, a whole child. For those of you that don't know about Mr. Petty here, all right? Mr. Petty has a rap sheet that is as long as the Nile River, okay? Allow me to go through it with you. Mr. Petty here, he is 50 years old. He has a criminal record dating back to 1995. He is a registered sex offender who spent four years behind bars after being convicted of first degree attempted rape of a 16 year old girl. I just had to kind of put that out there because this is the guy that the mega, mega famous Nicki Minaj is married to. And if that wasn't embarrassing enough for her name to be attached to this right here, just, I mean, this was the icing on the cake. It wasn't even icing on the cake. This was the the candle on top of the icing on the cake, all right? This is embarrassing as hell. So you're a grown ass man. And you're sitting here trying to talk tough and big yourself up, big yourselves up. I don't even know what the hell you guys are doing, but you're just out here somewhere in New York, I'm guessing is what, Queens or, or somewhere in New York. And y'all post it up somewhere looking stupid. It'd be one thing if he was in New York City and you did that. That'd be one thing. It would still be embarrassing. But, you know, I, I would be able to extend an olive branch to you on that. But it's the fact that, Joe, you posted up trying to threaten some dude who is literally miles away. Like he's several states away from you. And y'all are doing this. Talking about y'all run the city and all this kind of stuff. How embarrassing is that? Where is the, the the PR team here? And and unfortunately, this situation has nothing to do with Kai, right? Or Nikki or anything, you know, but it's just the fact that this dude decided to try and, you know, talk tough because apparently these two have been going back and forth offset and and you know, he said something to to Kenneth and you know, his goonies got involved with it. I think it was started over Instagram or something. I don't really know. I don't really care, honestly. It, it really is irrelevant to the point that I want to make. Offset literally looked like he was having the time of his life, okay, in that stream. Like, he, he was smiling so fucking hard, and he was enjoying himself, like, honestly. Now, you see several, you know, big-name celebrities go on the Kai streams, and, you know, so a, a good amount of them, act, you know, they really are having a good time. Like, Kai really did do what other streamers didn't do which is made streaming mainstream if that makes sense right like it made you know going live and, and being on stream he's he popularized it i should say right and it helped that a lot of these mainstream artists hop on his streams from time to time and you know it adds more eyes to his overall content which I think is great because prior to him, I mean, yeah, you know, you may have had some celebrities here and there hop on a stream or maybe play video games with streamers or whatever the case may be. But it was always kind of like an afterthought. It was always kind of just put in the back burner. Nobody really cared until Kai came along and really just kind of made it just a good marketing strategy, really, for a lot of these artists to come up here and these celebrities to come up here and actually you know, spend some time, right? Because Kai has hundreds of thousands of people in his streams consistently. And I believe that this stream that he did with Kai was one of the most watched streams, you know, that he's had since he's been on Twitch, since Kai's been on Twitch. So, you know, and I believe that even on Twitter, Offset, uh, you know, was hype about that. Like he was actually really, really hype about that. And he even admitted that he had probably the best time that he's probably ever had in a long time. He he's, he even said it himself. But then if this whole situation with Kenneth Petty wasn't enough, this dude had probably one of the greatest 48 hours ever because after that stream, he literally got on a plane and went 
to Colorado to go and, you know, dap hands with uh, Deion Sanders, who's the head coach over there at Colorado. And I actually just watched that game this past weekend. It was actually really, really crazy. Colorado versus Colorado State. That was a crazy ass game. And, you know, it came down to the wire. Colorado ended up winning late in the fourth quarter. Uh, I thought that was crazy. You know, I tried to stay up as much as I could to watch it, but you know, listen, it was just, it was too much. I, I ended up falling asleep, but I watched a good amount of it. It was a good ass game, but that's beside the point. I mean, you saw videos of him literally all over the place in a two day span. Then to go through all of that and have to turn around and deal with this old ass dude talking crap about you over some internet shit. It's just, it's just insane. Now, I don't think that Nicki Minaj herself has said anything about this. As far as I know, Nicki Minaj hasn't said anything about her husband's actions. Um, and honestly, I don't think she will. You know, maybe she might bring it up at some point or maybe have some kind of subliminal tweet or post out there on social media. But, you know, it's just embarrassing. Like, dude, what are you doing? Like, like, seriously, like, like real talk. What are you doing? You coming after a dude who you more than likely could you probably old enough to be his dad i don't know how old offset is but i'm sure he's younger than him if you'll go sit your ass down somewhere man i wanted to come in here and make a fun video make a cool video and now i gotta come over here and get on your ass and i, I really just didn't plan on doing that i don't know and i understand that a lot of Nicki minaj fans are going to try to separate her from him during this whole you know situation and the reality is you can't because that is her husband and they are connected at the hip at this point. And they've known each other for a long time. From what I understand, a lot of people, when they first got together, got married and all of that, a lot of people really were like, yo, like, why the fuck are you with him? Right? Like, why are you dealing with this dude? Like, you know, you're supposedly better than him or more famous than him. I should say this just really cemented the fact that, yeah, why, why are y'all together? But then again, right, I have absolutely no idea, but this was just the most embarrassing thing I've seen on the internet, you know, th this past week. And I just can't, can't believe that I saw that, you know, and I don't know what the hell they were mad about, what the hell they, you know, called themselves trying to threaten him about or over. I think they did try to come on, on uh, Instagram live and, and talk about it. But the reality is nobody cares. And it's just no matter what it is, I guarantee you it was something stupid. No matter what it is, you're supposed to be the elder statesman here, right? You you honestly, let's just keep it a buck. You're not even supposed to be on social media. Let's just be real. All right. You too damn old to be on IG. I'm going to just keep it a buck. I'm going to keep it a buck. All right. You too damn old to be out here doing this, bruh. Especially over some goddamn Twitter thumbs, Twitter fingers, or or Instagram thumbs, or Instagram fingers, or whatever the hell you want to call it. It's too much, man. You're doing too much, bro. And it, it just was uncalled for. I don't know where the PR team is. I don't know where the management is as far as on Nicki Minaj's side to get your husband to act right because this was a huge, huge L for the both of you. Now, I don't know what the hell you going to do with him behind the scenes, but y'all need to... <laughs> You know, right now, y'all don't look good as a unit because of him and what he was saying. And honestly, like I said, it doesn't matter what the hell him and his fucking degenerates were were saying, standing there on the corner like they were some goddamn trap stars. It, it's, it's irrelevant, man. And then, you know, Offset, once he sees the clip of them just embarrassing themselves, he hops off the private jet and he starts laughing, pretty much just making fun of them. Just look at this. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm getting out of the jet, you know what I mean? What are you thinking to me? What are you thinking to me? <laughs> we up and off jets, bitch. Y'all niggas got that. Y'all niggas just standing outside. Somebody. <sighs> yeah, his reaction is exactly what I would do. Just be hopping off the fucking private jet, laughing my ass off. Just getting a, a, a huge chuckle out of the situation because what the fuck is going on he's had he just had the time of his life this past weekend and here you are i don't know what the fuck man i i i could go on all day about this but i just thought this was the most embarrassing thing i could have known i, I would be so embarrassed if this were my dad and like i said he does have a young child he's gonna grow up and he's gonna see this video so fucking embarrassing if it was embarrassing to me i know damn sure it's gonna be embarrassing to 
to to the little guy when he grows up and sees this if it if nikki's team doesn't scrub it from the fucking internet because i feel like that's probably what they're doing right now but anyway i'm gonna stop like i said i wanted to make a great video but kenneth petty didn't allow, wouldn't allow me to do that so it is what it is uh anyway man that's gonna do it for this video uh let me know what you thought about this man yeah man peace